Hi beauty fam, welcome back to Mickey Car Beauty. I'm Mickey and on my channel I love to talk about luxury skincare and beauty. And today I'm doing a very first impressions of the Danessa Myricks new uh, Upsolate technology kind of two-in-one, three-in-one blush eye and lips. I use them on my cheeks and lips today and that's it. I'll be continuing to use these in my get readies with me's but here's just a first impression and if you want to see what my first thoughts and use of these products are then keep watching but before we continue please consider subscribing and liking and commenting below and hitting the notification bell so you get notified when all my videos go up and then let's begin <laughs> Uh, first impressions of the new Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin, uh, kind of like a two and three, three in one product. It's meant for lips, cheeks, and maybe eyes. I just don't want to put these on my eyes, I think. Uh, maybe another time, and I'll do um, some video of that. I just initially just wanted to see what this would look like on first impressions. So, the first thing I'll now show some cutaways of the application process. For sure, for the blush, I put Dancing Queen here on the left side of my cheek. And for sure, you want to have a fluffy brush. I use the Sonia G Mini Base, which is more dense, but it's supposed to be a cream powder formula that it can go for cream products. And it was definitely too targeted and just too stiff. And when it's too stiff, you're seeing what's happening now on my face, which is it was really hard to diffuse the product and it just looked like kind of like a mess and so um it, it was just it's such a pigmented color that it's one that you want to be careful with at least if you're my skin tone right um so i found by the time i went to the other shade i figured out what brush to use and so you want to use at least a fluffy brush i'm not sure if it's um synthetic i just used a goat hair one but i'm sure you could probably use synthetic just make sure to use a fluffy brush because these are super pigmented um i do like dancing queen on my lips i have really pigmented lips so dancing queen i knew would be a great color for me it's got this really great berry color and actually Actually, it reminds me a lot of Mountain Walk, which is a Mountain Walk, which is a Lisa Eldridge color, and it's a very bright color. And Lisa Eldridge came out with really bright colors a while back, and they had some issues with the packaging. And I think she pulled them from her website, so they're no longer on there. Um, and those are different. There's those are definitely strictly for cream products, and this product is really meant to be cream eye or cheek as well um so i'll do some cutaways of that in a bit but um i did like the mountain i did like dancing queen on my lips i have to try it again with a looser brush um and see if it works so for the right side my right side i then used golden hour which is that bright poppy orange color and by this time i figured out to use uh, my face to sonia g brush which is a, a more fluffy goat hair brush and i actually like this side more it's really bright and here's this tricky part about this product i'm already going to see is that it's it's really pigmented and if you are not careful you can just get this all over your face and i'm not a makeup artist artist i'm not super precise so i'm then gonna have to go in and use these again in a way that i know i'm not gonna go too um out of control for that but um and then i put this on my lips the color you see here i'm using the color golden hour and i don't know if i like it on my lips maybe it's just yeah, I'm not a big fan of that color on my lips, first of all, but I have, again, pigmentation on my lips and I found it hard to cover up the color. So 
you know, when I bought these products, I really want them to be a two in one. It has to work for me in terms of a blush and a lip color because for me, then it's just an oversized uh, cream blusher. So I don't know, at least for me, who is like a medium tan skin tone, um, and it's just my aesthetic. I'm not really into this bright of an orange on my lips. I think I would go back and get, yes, I would probably go back and get two other colors like Jubilee um or what's the other one rose and brunch jubilee is more of like a terracotta brown and then rose and brunch is rose and those colors are you know i want to go inside um the store and swatch them before i buy these again the i bought these sight unseen i just bought these off of the sephora website and so i do think you have to be really careful on how you use this product. It can get really out of hand. This upsalate is really intense. Um, and for someone who has rosacea, I have to be really careful what I put on my cheeks. So I can tell already now, like looking at the camera, like you can see where that upsalate just got everywhere and it's not really cute. So I'm gonna actually probably take off this makeup again and like reapply it because it just got too much. And I'm gonna show you, I kind of patted down what remaining foundation I had here just because I wanted to start over with this um, side with Dancing Queen to give it a fair shake. So I grabbed a Katie Jane Hughes brush which is synthetic 02 and then I went into Dancing Queen so you can see like just a little bit. I want one little dab and then it's really pigmented. These blushes are not for the faint of heart is what I would say. If you are um, my skin tone or lighter, I can see these being so beautiful if you have a deeper complected beauty because you don't have to work too hard to make it show up. I think what I did was I really picked really bright colors, which um, I really wanted to see what it would look like. But I think for me, if I were to go back, I actually would probably get... Uh, again, the two colors that are a little bit more subdued, knowing how pigmented these are, or I, I, it's really hard to control is what I'm saying. It's like, if you're a makeup artist, you're probably more adept than me to do this. But um, yeah, that's just kind of what I'm finding at first impression. So I'm going to keep using these. So I'm going to take this uh, lipstick off, which is Golden Hour. Let me know what you think. I'm just not a big fan of like an orange on my lips, but it is what it is. In terms of the texture, these don't feel oily. It's use it, it's that upsolete technology. And I do appreciate that. It's still hard to control on my cheeks. My issue with cream products is that if it's too creamy, then it starts to get oily on my face. But I don't necessarily feel that's happening. There's not oil on my face. What it is, it's just because it's so pigmented, it can go everywhere. And that's just something to note when you're using these products. So I'm putting Dancing Queen back on my lips. I do like this color. And I don't know if I would grab a lip liner. I don't know if I'd grab a lip brush for this. Just the way the product is, it's in this kind of compact. It's almost easier just to go in once and twice. And I just did two applications and look how pretty that color is. I love this color. You can go deeper if you want, like a deeper berry. But I just went in with two, two swipes and I'm getting this really pretty berry color. And I, I love it. It's like, I don't have, I don't think I have a color like this in my lipstick collections. This is the Danessa Myricks Dancing Queen. You can see how super pigmented that is. Super pigmented. And then grabbing a Mountain Walk and I decanted these. This is Lisa Eldridge Mountain Walk. I'm hoping she will release this at some point. It's a different formula altogether. I decanted these. They had a faulty mechanism, a tube, and they kept on squirting out. It's definitely more emollient, but similar color. It's like this berry color, but it's definitely more oily, if you can see. It's definitely got more purple, where this is more a berry up here, more red. Both beautiful colors. I found this is actually easier to control for the blush area than this Danessa Myricks Dancing Queen. Although I don't think these Lisa Eldridge's are made for lips. They're, I mean, I have used them before. They just don't last long. Whereas this feels pretty comfortable. I don't, 
It's a pretty thin formula. I prefer like a thing like this to be blurred. And I'm going to test this out and see how this wears all day. And let me do some swatches for you for um, this color golden hour, this bright, bright orange, super bright. I mean, it's orange. Okay. And then let me, this is golden hour and this is pink poetry by Lisa Eldridge. Very similar, super hot, bright colors. Different formula again all together. This is um, pink poetry is definitely more emollient. It almost feels like putty in there without like the weird clay smell like Play-Doh, but it's definitely softer. You can see that where, and I actually think this is a really nice color on that. It, it diffuses a little bit more to be softer on the cheeks. Whereas this, once it's on, it's on. It's like super pigmented. So yeah, I think, I don't know, just on first impressions, I'm going to try, but I actually prefer these formulas from Lisa Eldridge more, even though they had faulty containers. I find it, I find it easier. So the next time I wear these, I'm going to try to use these just with my finger, but I actually initially tried to use my fingers and it was hard to diffuse this product um, just with my fingers just because it's so pigmented. The color I'm going to pull is Singe for you. This is Phytosurgeons and they have these cream blushers. It's, sorry, cream blushers. This is Singe. It's not exactly the same. It's more muted. And I would say this is probably maybe close to Rose and Brunch or Jubilee, which are more subdued oranges. But let me just swatch that for you. And this is definitely more of a creamy product. see it's a little bit more coral but I love these phytosurgeons skin spark blushes they're kind of like a mini cult favorite in the indie community but yeah so this is Danessa Myrick's Dancing Queen Mountain Walk Lisa Eldridge Golden Hour Danessa Myrick's Pink Poetry by Lisa Eldridge and the color Singe by phytosurgeons skin spark blushes you can see I have that um, Dancing Queen on here and I'm using a new brush and it's, you can see it's like hard to diffuse. It doesn't, it comes off a little patchy. So I, I don't know if I like this as a blush, quite honestly. I'm going to go into the other one again, just so you can see this is Golden Hour going in the same brush I used pr previously. And maybe the blushes are just not for me, given my skin type and preference of how I do makeup. I just want the blush to diffuse a little more. And it's just, it's a bit messy. Um, okay, so if you try these, let me know. So what I like to do if I have time, if I can, I like to go back and especially on first impression videos, I go back and pin a comment. Again, I'm just going to keep trying to use this product. I just found it really fussy to use on my cheeks. Whereas I've used other cheek products before, like cream cheek products like Cure Weiss, Phytosurgeons, Clay de Peau, um, what are the, uh, Lisa Eldridge. And... Yeah, I'm not new to cream products and I was really excited to use this because it has upsolate as the technology on your face on the face. So it's supposed to like not be oil based. Oh, if I also use the water fresh blush from Chanel. So different kind of like for blush formulas that are not powders. So yeah, I think it's definitely like a look. I just I like to have a little bit more control on my placement of blush and I just feel like this is a little messy. Let me know what you think. Um, I didn't do any of my eye makeup today. I just um, wanted to just do this while I was getting ready. But let me know what you think. Um, and if you have experience with this, again, this is just a first impressions. But my first impressions are like, I love this uh, Dancing Queen as a lip golden hour and not so much and that's just more of, of a subjective preference there's nothing wrong with it i think these are great um i would say it doesn't feel like lipstick it's a little bit dry but it doesn't bother me so much i'll tell you like at the five hour mark what's happening or even an hour um there's not much slip so it feels like very matte but i also don't have like any balm down 
I would definitely wear these as a blurred uh, color because it's such a bright color on my lips. So I, I kind of blurred it out and I actually prefer that with really bright colors. But yeah, the blush, I am not really impressed with it as a blush at this point. So let me know what you think, Fam Bleedy Fam, if you use these. I haven't seen anyone else's review, so I'll be looking at some other people's review after I, I post this. But let me know if you've tried this or if you've seen other reviews, what they're saying, and I'll post an um, update below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please consider doing so. It helps me out. Make sure to ring the notification bell so you get notification of when my videos go up. And I would appreciate so greatly if you comment and like below. It helps out engagement on my channel. And as always, please be very kind to yourself and others. And just be you. Take care, beauty fam. Bye.